Hello and welcome to you all and today we are going to learn about observer design pattern. This design pattern belongs to the behavioral family but before jumping into the session let's have a look to the practical situation. Suppose you have subscribed to a newsletter then you become the subscriber of that particular content and whenever any new content is generated by that subject or by that publisher then all the other observers get notification in the form of newsletter. So our observer design pattern works exactly in the similar way. It helps you in terms of maintaining the dependency between one to many object. Then whenever the state change occurs to the single object, then all the other dependent objects get notified and according to that notification, they can take next action. So whenever you find yourself in this situation when there is an object and whose state is to be monitored by the group of the objects and whenever any state change occurs, they need to take some action. Then you can implement observer design pattern. If you look into the diagram, there are majorly three components of observer design pattern. Number one is subject, number two is observer protocol and number three is concrete observer. So subject is basically the object whose state we need to monitor. And the observer protocol defines the common behavior of all the observers. It contains the function that will be triggered whenever any change occurs in the subject state. And the concrete observers are the classes that follow observer protocols. Till this point you have got the conceptual understanding of the observer design pattern. You also understand that in which situation I need to use this. So this is the right time to jump into the coding implementation. As a code sample we are taking here example of the stock observer application skeleton. In this sample we are having a stock subject that is having two observers and whenever there is a value change happens in the stock subject then those two observers will get notified and according to that notification they can take the further action either in the form of updation of UI or in the form of updation of some values. First part of observer design pattern implementation is two protocols number one is subject and another one is observer. In the subject protocol we are having observers array so whatever observer we are having for the stock subject they will be contained in this particular array. Add observer function will be responsible to adding the observer in the observers array. Remove observer function will work to remove the observer whenever its responsibility get completed. And notify observer will be the function that will basically notify all the observers in this particular array. Now next jump into the observer protocol. So observer protocol will define all the common behavior for all the observers. Right now there is only one responsibility we are assuming that uh, all the observers need to update the UI or need to update some value whenever they get notified for the stock value change. So we are having only one function that is update in this particular observer protocol. Next part of this implementation is concrete subject that is stock price subject and concrete observer that is stock price observer. So we have already defined two protocols one is subject and another one is observer. So on the basis of that we will implement this concrete subject and concrete observer. So these properties are basically coming from the protocol that we are following and let's jump into the implementation. So these two properties are denoting the stock price and the stock name. Add observer is basically appending any new observer to the observers array. Remove observer function is important because whenever the responsibility of observer gets completed you need to remove it from the array otherwise if you keep on adding the observers it can create memory problem for you. So this function remove observer is completing that responsibility. Notify observer function is responsible to send a kind of notification to all the observer that yes stock value change has happened now you need to update the UI. So this is the function that is completing that responsibility. Set stock price is completely dedicated to setting the stock price and to notify all the observers that stock price has been changed. Now jump into the concrete implementation of the observer. So with the help of observer protocol we are implementing this common method to all of our observers that if the stock price has been changed then you need to take some next action. Right now we are not jumping into the code implementation of that UI update or the value update we are just utilizing this print statement for that purpose. So this will be the function that will get triggered when any observer will get notification of the stock value change. 
suppose we are having a stock price subject that is of uh, maybe the apple stock and we are having two observers observer 1 observer 2 to the stock price subject we are adding the observer as observer 1 and another observer and observer 2 so whenever the stock price will get changed this update function will fire and this print statement will be executed with respect to the observer even in the output you can see that it is getting printed that observer 1 is reporting that the stock price has been changed to 100 and observer 2 is reporting the stock price has been changed to 100 and on the basis of that notification you can implement your further action so this is the end of the session on observer design pattern if you have any feedback any comment any suggestion or any query then feel free to drop in the comment section you can also send me an email at any time on my email id that is vinugopaltevari at gmail.com in the end i will say the same thing that for the new videos stay tuned to our channel stay motivated and keep learning with us thank you